What's up everybody, we're back with another video and in this one we're going to be looking at the patch notes for Tekken 8 version 1.05. I'm going to look at all the common stuff then uh, look at Kazuya, Yoshimitsu, and Safina. Let's go right to it. Okay, here we have... Alright. Uh, following updates of version 1.04. Uh, it's May, upcoming version of uh, 1.05, scheduled for at least Tuesday. And um, I'm doing this uh, around midnight uh, Eastern time. So all the updates have already come in. Uh, they messed around with, with a little bit of it already. But, uh, let's see. Following, uh, uh, sorry, characters who are not uh, able to fully exhibit their unique characteristics, strength unique to the tech eight characters with disproportionately strong moves or high combo damage. Situations where one player dominates the attack, making it difficult to utilize defensive techniques. Effect uh, version 1.05 and just policy. To address issue one, characters like the Z upon Raven will receive buffs to better showcase their unique characteristics and strength. Additionally, some characters whose move performance was uh, previously reduced in past updates will also be just the broad scope of gameplay. Uh, to address issue two, in addition to the adjustments to character moves, there will also be recalibrating of damage scaling involved in heat dash, throws, and stage gimmicks. This will help prevent situations where combo damage becomes excessively high. Uh, to address issue 3, the wall stagger effect induced by heat dash will be removed and the performance of heat bursts and throws will be revised. This will enhance the effectiveness of sidestepping and increase the importance of three dimensional strategic uh, interactions. Future adjustment policy. While significant balance uh, adjustments were made in one point, version 1.04. And version 1.5, similar, similar large scaling adjustments will not be conducted during the remainder of season one. Updates from July onward will focus primarily on fixing unintended move behaviors and addressing bugs. Okay, move list. Uh, text changes have been made in the move list to explain the new terms strong carry and strong attack reversal, which refer to special commands that counter attacks that general parries and attack reversals cannot such as elbow and knee strikes characteristics strong attack reversal and strong parry now they can counter attacks like elbow strikes knee strikes head bunts, body uh, charges airborne attacks and weapon attacks they cannot counter throws unblockable attacks and maximum hold moves. they are ineffective against moves with Reversal break effects, rage arts, heat smash, power press uh, immediately after successful intercept, and some unique moves. Uh, applicable commands Lisa, time opponent's high attack, Brian, during snake eyes. So I guess these are the different um, moves that can be counted. Okay. Yes, Yoshi, this is uh, 1 plus 2. Okay, reversal break effect. Special animation has been added to the moves that possesses the reversal break property when they hit against the follow. Target actions, attack reversals, parries, power crushes. Note, since power crush uh, properties of rage arts can block even if reversal break properties this special animation will not be played. Okay. Stage breakables. Fix an issue where in certain situations, using a specific recovery action, did not transition to a down state. Causing the character to transition into a recovery action while stage gimmicks can still be activated. Okay. Uh, floor breakables. Fix an issue where the following throws will not trigger a floor break in certain situations. Effect throws, Brian, 
Dan, Baron, Kazuya, uh, uh, Lily, and Ren. Gotta check my mic. Gotta just adjust this. Uh, destruction type stage gimmicks. Wall breaks, hard wall breaks. Balcony breaks, floor breaks, hard floor breaks. Um, following destruction type stage gimmicks have an effect that reduces the opponent's recovery damage when triggered. The amount, of this uh, amount of this reduction has been changed from 20 to 15. Okay. Explosion type stage gimmicks, wall bound, wall blast, floor blasts. Following explosion type stage gimmicks, which inflict recoverable damage to the opponent, um, regardless of combo damage scaling when activated, have had the damage adjusted from 10 to 5. Take some of the damage down from some of the stage breaks. Uh, stage gimmicks involving walls, wall breaks, hard wall breaks, balcony breaks, wall bounds, and wall blasts. Combo damage scaling for the following stage gimmicks involve walls has been adjusted as follows. Stage gimmicks subject to change. Wall breaks, hard wall breaks, same, same thing. Uh, changes the damage scaling for the first use in the same combo has been changed 90% to 70%. Damage scaling after the second use in the same combo has been changed from 80% to 60%. Uh, the damage scaling after the third use in the same combo has been changed from 70% to 50%. Okay, Rage Art. The amount of recoverable gauge restored hitting a rage arc has been standardized to a uniform amount across all characters. It will now recover 1 on the first hit and 13 after the final hit of the hit animation. Okay, so that I guess uh, made it similar, made it the same for all the characters. A uh, fixing issue where characters would exhibit natural movements when the rage arc created hits on the first hit. Uh, fix an issue where the camera would behave unnaturally when hitting the rage art from one player's side when choosing the right side for that match. A heat burst. Reducing the, reduce the tracking ability against opponent's sidesteps. This change allows heat burst to be sidestep in situations where there is little frame advantage between players. Okay, so it made it easier to uh, sidestep rage parts. Appropriate uh, direction and timing for sidestepping will vary depending on the character used. So you gotta know when and which side to sidestep on. Uh, move reversal break attribute. This change allows players to counter heat burst with the power crush or parry techniques that they anticipate attack. Oh, okay, cool. Unlike regular power crush, heat burst does not power up when it intercepts an opponent's attack. Okay, see now you can parry the uh, heat burst now. And last players counter heat burst, power crushes, or parry. Okay, cool. Uh, heat burst strike damage can no longer cause a KO. This change was made because its ability to suppress opponent's action was too high when opponent's health was low. Uh, reduce the distance to the opponent on hit. Change the opponent's behavior on block, reducing the distance to the opponent. These adjustments were made to facilitate more aggressive interactions, considering that in versions prior to 1.04, players had fewer options to counter uh, opponent's aiming to turn the tables with power crush or heat burst. Okay. Heat dash. Collision detected for the opponent and the wall has been adjusted, alleviating the issues where the positional relationship would become strained when activated near the wall. When attack hits the heat dash, when attack hits and heat dash is performed with the wall on the opponent's right side, there were cases where it became difficult to follow up attacks. This issue has been alleviated. Now to change opponent's behavior on block when heat dash is activated, 
movement effects that induces wall stagger adjustment was made considering that it was a significant factor in facilitating unilateral, unilateral attacks. Uh, added an effect where activating heat dash recovers six of the recoverable gauge on attack hit and three on block. This allowed for more, more advantageous situation when activated with a substantial amount of recoverable gauge remaining. Okay. Knockdown behavior induced by heat dash, allowing for follow-up attacks on down opponent. Some heat engages only allow for follow-up attacks on down opponent when hit on the ground and followed by heat dash. Following changes have been made to the knockdown behavior that occurs in these situations. Made it possible to perform a side of Kimi. Uh, as a result, some follow-up attacks with slower startup may no longer connect. I guess, I guess now certain things, or well, like I said, slower starter moves might not connect while you're on the uh, Two additional damage scaling has been applied on top of original damage scaling. Certain moves uh, were allowing a side of Kimmy will prevent follow up attacks. Opponent's behavior on a hit has been adjusted to ensure follow up attacks still connect. Okay. Moves for which the opponent's behavior on the hit has been changed due to reason three. Uh, Devil's Gen, Orang, Puma and Panda, Lars, Leo, Reyna, and Zafina. Okay. Heat engages. And this is behavior of change. In certain situations, the direction of the character's movement during the heat activation animation will become opposite of the intended direction issue has been fixed okay uh throws in versions 1.05 to reassess the role of various throws the following changes have been made normal throws uh one and two uh, are now treated as homing attacks so normal throws are homing attacks their tracking performance remains unchanged from version 1.04 sucks but Tracking performance of command throws has been reduced. This change introduces the possibility of sidestepping to avoid command throws. The following command throws are exceptions and will be treated as homing attacks, making them track sidesteps. Yeah, from uh, most of them are kings. The Dragon of Horan, King, Fawn, Rain, Steve. Okay. This adjustment aims to increase the effectiveness of sidestepping against command throws, which deal significant damage and are difficult to escape. While leaving normal throws as a countermeasure against sidestepping and setting up for counter. The usefulness of command throws has been reduced, but in situations where you can move significantly ahead of your opponent, it becomes harder to sidestep. Therefore, it is crucial to use them uh, strategically uh, based on the situation. Uh, those that can trigger stage damage. That's a balance. Damage scaling the 80% has been added to throws that can follow up from stage damage and wall splat. This change is made considering that combo damage can become too high in certain situations. Wall stagger. Regarding the wall stagger that is triggered when certain attacks hit or a block in the wall, following changes have been made. To stabilize the timing of occurrence and the frame advantage advantages when it occurs. When of the wall staggering collision effect in between between the character and the wall have been adjusted. Animation, sound effects, and voice during wall stagger have been adjusted to make it clearer when wall stagger occurs. Okay, jump related. In Tekken 8, the removal of the reversal of reversals mechanic from previous games has led to increasing moves that cannot be countered by attack reversals or parries, including low parries. In addition to elbow strikes, knee strikes, head bunts, body charges, weapon attacks, and running moves that can, cannot be countered in previous games, Tekken 8 has added airborne attacks, unblockable attacks, and fully charged hold moves to list moves that cannot be countered by parries. 
Based on this, we have corrected moves that despite being airborne attacks, can still be countered by attack versus parry. Okay, Lisa, Eddie, Brian, Ken, Ina, Shaheen, Law, Lee, Lee, Paul, Raven, Victor, and Lean. Okay, voice effects, basically just for that. Uh, move lists, certain text icons and other elements in the move list have been modified, adding a note in the move list for techniques for reversal break effects. Reversal break effect, this property nullifies the opponent's power crush and parry techniques. Includes rage arts, block the moves, heat smash, power crush, when intercepted attacks, and some character specific unique moves. All right, that's all the common stuff. So I think I'm gonna start with Kazuya. And we'll look at his changes. And like I said, since it's update already, we will we'll try it out. Okay, balance direction with Kazuya. In version 1.05, Kazuya has undergone the performance changes aimed at improving character usability in various aspects, in addition to stabilizing his behavior. Notably, Kazuya has been adjusted to deliver significant damage from a quick mid combo attack down for 1 4. Addressing the high dif difficulty of counterattacking after blocking or evading attacks. Additionally, attacks utilizing the Devil Power during heat state have poor usability due to the high consumption rate of heat timing. Thus, the performance and commands have been revised to enhance convenience. However, the move uh, 442, Demon Ball, despite being a mid heat engager with excellent speed and range, had low risk on block and was overshadowing other mid attacks. Therefore, the distance to the opponent on block has been reduced. Okay, real quick. Yeah, that is, let's reduce quite a bit. <laughs> okay. During range, the behavior fix the hitbox has been expanded downward, alleviating instances where a type missed certain situations. Uh, fix the issue where during heat duration moves with perfect evasion properties like those of Raven could defend against this attack. Okay, so it just fix some um fix some things so it doesn't with since the uh, hitbox expands down and I guess there's a bug Raven carry. Uh, during heat change the damage of the first hit from twelve to nine as a result, the total damage when hitting on the ground will be 43 to 40. This change the damage. Uh, 112 and 122 increase the distance from opponent on first attack, mitigating the occurrence of whipping mid combo. I guess this is something that was happening, but. Consumption of rain, remaining heat has been changed from 450 to 270. At a reversal effect, this makes the attack effect against common attack reversals, parries, and crushes. Okay. It's a new move. During day form while rising one plus one. Four. Roar of the Devil. During Devil form can now be executed from a wild rising position. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. 
do it while rising now. <laughs> okay. Because he is down 414. To improve Kazia's effectiveness by increasing the return on fast startup moves that can be used for punishes. Fallen adjustments have been made. Downward hitbox size of the first attack has been increased primarily to stabilize the behavior when used aerial combos. Uh, the behavior of the opponent on hit of the second hit has been altered to allow for follow up attacks. The behavior of the opponent on block has been changed and the frame advantage has been changed from negative 3 to negative 11. So it, it increased the negative frame. Made it 11 now. Uh, I was saying something about. Is he, uh, because he needs work. Um, down four one, holding down four, down four two. Uh, the downward hitbox size of the first attack has been expanded primarily to stabilize behavior. The tracking ability of the second attack has been enhanced only on hit of the first attack, mitigating the occurrence of whipping midway through during wall combo. Fix an issue where the second hit would not occur when the input uh, was performed. Adjust the collision detection of the second hit to increase the stability of aerial combo. Okay, give for what I was seeing, um, those people were saying when they were doing that, doing it in combo. I think it was causing it to. Uh, Is it, um, hitbox down for one that shouldn't be whiffing anymore. Okay. Uh, behavior is uh, down four, three to one, and three to down four, three to one hold. Conversion 1.04. Size of the attack hitbox was adjusted to mitigate the issue of hitting opponents who are not directly in front. However, this adjustment sometimes called whiffing when used in aerial combos. Therefore, attack box has been readjusted and expanded down. Two, two, one plus two. The, the hitbox of the first attack has been expanded downwards, alleviate instances where the attack will miss in certain situations. Uh, to stabilize the behavior when used aerial combos, the recovery time of the second hit has re been reduced by one frame on hit. The recovery time on the third hit has been reduced by eight frames. Additionally, the opponent's recovery time when blocking the third hit has also been reduced by eight frames. As a result, the frame advantage on block remains unchanged. Uh, reduction of the third hit's recovery time makes it easier to follow up with an attack after hitting a down or well, back two to 
the suit at the end of an aerial combo, especially when slamming the opponent into a wall. Okay. Got a. Uh, Can't think of the combo. Okay, during Devil Form, reduce the distance on the block. 442 Demon Ball. Uh, new move during Devil Form. 442 Demon Ball. You can hold back by inputting and putting back. It's now possible to pre prevent the transition to Devil Form exclusive throw hit. So, yes. So I can stop that by holding back. Ooh. So if you don't want to get this, we can keep the stuff. Pretty cool. Okay, while rising two, this behavior change. Hitbox has been expanded downward, alleviating instances with certain moves. While rising one plus two. A box has been expanded downwards, same thing, so that miss during their form. Uh, I think it's called Heaven's Gate. Change to consume the heat timer during the throw animation on the hit rather than during the initial strike portion. Let's see. Oh, okay, I think it's, um, just if you miss. Okay, yeah. It's changing to where it actually hits. But if you're with, it doesn't take away the, uh, heat time. Okay, uh, um, four, for a circle, now just chip damage on block kick. Uh, same kick, change to consume heat timer during devil form, exclusive additional attack instead of kick portion. So I guess the same thing, so that if you whiff maybe, it doesn't take away the heat, but only if it hits. Consumption of remaining heat time has been changed from 210 to 1080, or 180. Short recovery time of the additional attack on block by two. Reduce the distance to the opponent after additional attack block. Damage of the throw has been changed to 15 to 20. Okay. Um, same thing by inputting block. Now to prevent the transition to the devil form. Same thing, but we'll look at it. Do it. Whole block. Okay. Got about that move. Uh, due to slow startup, this move will not be effective for counter hits. Therefore, its role has been adjusted. Change the damage from 23 to 33. Change the opponent's behavior on block, reducing the distance for the opponent. Uh, increase the opponent's recovery time on block by 11 frames. Changing the frame advantage on block from negative 6 to plus 5. Okay. Change the opponent's behavior on counter hit, making area combos no longer possible. Uh, with the ability to move first when even when blocked. This move can now be used as an offensive starter. Additionally, the increased damage enhances the value incorporated into combo. I can't remember what the uh, what the animation was with that on uh, counter hit. Okay. 
coaching on left side camera behavior and stability issues have been alleviated. I guess there were camera issues with that. That's it for Kazuya. Let's go down to Yoshimitsu. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm stick to these three characters since I actually know what I'm looking at. All right, balance direction, Yoshimitsu. A Yoshimitsu experience performance nerfs in version 1.02.01 for moves like Soul Stealer because certain aspects were at odds with overall game concept. However, previous updates did not introduce new elements to enhance his appeal. In version 1.05, adjustments to performance tweaks focus on the special stance. Any stance have been made to broaden Yoshimitsu's gameplay. Previously, there were no easy transitions into Indian stance, so transitions from maybe moves like while crouching uh, down 4 4 have been enabled. Additionally, the transition actions and attacks from the stance have been improved for better usability and practical scenarios. Um, there was also an imbalance in users of moves during heat state. To address this, the heat timer consumption for moves from Monty Dragonfly have been reduced, making these moves more practical compared to other enhanced elements. Okay, during rage behavior change, hitbox has been expanded upwards, alleviating instances where the attack will miss in certain situations. During heat, uh, the opponent's behavior on the third hit has been modified mitigating the occurrence of whiffing midway through. Okay, back to two. Adjust the collision detection to mitigate issues where some counterattacks will reach after evading by crouching. A fixed issue where the heat pass transition could be triggered even if the second hit whiff in certain situations. So we'll just change the behavior of it. Um, down on plus two so that's uh indian stance while crouching and monty dragonfly enable the ability to buffer inputs for moves when transitioning into indian stance let's look at that quick select Get ready for the next battle. So I was saying, uh, so once you, you can already, once you're going into it, you just press the button, he'll do it. So you don't have to wait for him to get into Indian stance. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, buffer it in. Bad. Not bad. Wonder if I can, uh, I'm with that doesn't hit. I was, um, doing some tests and waiting for a second. You have to go into a uh, Monty Dragonfly for a combo with that. Indian stance made the timing to execute moves from 
uh, Indian stance and drag uh, during my drag glide, Indian stance one frame faster and while crouching two frames faster. Okay, cool. So, makes stuff a little bit faster. I like that. We kind of do this. Maybe you're trying to fake somebody out. Do that. So it makes it uh, a little bit faster going into stands. Cool. Right? I like that. Okay, while well, crouching a uh, four Indian stance and during Indian stance killing uh, four down add a new command for transition to Indian stance after an attack the frame advantage on hit is plus eight uh, cool. nice only problem is like that move Well, it's just about the same amount of damage if you do. Oh, they switched over. Um, but doing this, you see what the damage is. I dropped it. This is about the same same damage done. What about with Do this? Six six. Sixty eight, a little bit more. Okay. Um, back facing opponent. Uh, issue where perform certain inputs resulted in unintended moves has been fixed. Okay. So I guess just when back face when you're not in the stand. Okay. Um turn King Show for two or for one to mitigate the issue of attacks with and part way through. The following changes have been made. Change the opponent's behavior on long range hints to reduce distance to the opponent. Uh, the tracking ability upon contact with the uh, attack has been improved. Hitbox has been enhanced. Fixed so that the attack does not track the opponent when it whips. That's something that's happened before. Well, now it's not going to do it anymore because I've done it and it's whip. And I guess somebody's trying to sidestep and end up moving forward and still get hit by it. So now... Now I guess somebody uh, sidesteps or something. It's not going to hit. And with that, I can't see how it... Uh, when it does hit, how it pulls them in. Pulls them in closer. it doesn't whip. 
pretty good. Did they change the... It looks like they changed... Because I think that was negative 5. I don't know. I could have sworn the... Um... Oh, no, 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 no. That's on block. That's on block. That's why. Yeah. It's negative 5. Five on block. And should still be the same. And yeah, it's negative nine. Is it the same in heat? like negative five what made me so no it was negative nine it was negative nine okay um so new move made it possible to transition to a crouching state input inputting during king show down one thought that was already the case I thought you could, you could already do that. I could have sworn you could, already, you could already do that. But okay. Um, during meditation, uh, three, fix an issue where attempting to perform back facing opponents. Uh, one or back facing opponents down one immediately after the attack will cause an unintended attack to be directed away from the opponent. Okay. I don't think I ever ran into that. Um, during Manji Dragonfly, damage of the standard version has been changed from 15 to 22. Cool. Damage during heat has been changed from 20 to 26. Nice. The consumption of remaining heat time has been changed from 180 to 90. Tractability has been enhanced. Ooh. Nice. Um, during Maju Dragon Fly 4, 1 plus 2, consumption of remaining heat has been changed from a negative 180 to negative 90. Okay, cool. Uh, Indian stance killing two four movement has been increased to extend the reach of the attack. Hitbox has been expanded downward, alleviating instances of whiffing certain moves. Okay. So that's um During any any stance healing, uh, change to a homing attack. Yeah, nice. Now it's home. Ooh. 
that is everything for Yoshimitsu. And now Zafina next. I'm going to go ahead and change. Get ready for the next battle. Okay. Not much for Zafina, but uh balance correction Zafina. In version 1.05, Zafina has received changes aimed at addressing minor issues and improving overall satisfaction. Uh down forward uh forward two adjusted the collision detection to mitigate the issue of swap positions with the opponent in certain situations. I haven't messed with Zafina yet, so that's not something I've seen. Uh, while rising 1-2, the opponent's behavior on landing with the first hit and second hit has been modified. The second hit now launches the opponent into the air, allowing for more consistent follow-up attacks when the opponent is hit near the wall. Uh, to minimize the impact of these changes on the overall damage aerial combos, the damage of the first hit has been adjusted from 9 to 8, and the damage of the second hit has been adjusted from 18 to 8. Um, okay. Let me go to uh So change that. Last thing, during Scarecrow, it's three, change the behavior when hitting a crossing opponent to match the behavior when hitting a standing opponent. This adjustment aims to mitigate the issue of the second hit whipping in certain situations. Okay, well that's everything that I'm gonna go over. Like I said, I, for me, that's about all. It's all that I really need. Characters that I know for real that I can really talk about what's going on with them. I haven't messed around with too many other characters as of yet. Uh, I couldn't get paused. I probably know some of his stuff, but no, that's that's where I'm stop. Those are three characters that I really know, and uh, as I get Yoshimitsu higher, mess around with more with Athena, Kazuya. Still want to play with Azucena and um, Fang. But yeah, that's where we want to end it uh, for this one. Got the um, patch because uh, he got some nice uh, uh, buffs for his stuff. Yoshimitsu got some uh, few pictures of his some of his things, and uh, got a couple buffs with uh, Dragonfly One, uh, Indian Stance uh, Three Plus Four, uh, that now is track move, and it was like one frame faster. Going in the stance from Monty Dragonfly, two frames faster going in Crouch, or it might be it might be all the way around. Um, yeah, we're and, and got some of his time. Takes less time doing some of the uh, moves while you keep in Dragonfly stance. But yeah. 
I bet everything's gonna be cool. Zavina had a couple pictures of her moves. Um, but overall, all my characters are straight. But even if they did get a uh, nerf, I'd be playing with them anyway. But yeah, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications every time I go live and post a video. Leave your comments down below as well. Let me know what you think about uh, patch notes. Um, what you think about or any of the characters and any of the uh, add stuff to it like with throws and uh, some other stuff with uh, sage interactions yeah that's it everyone have a good one be cool stay safe out there show someone some love and god bless peace